having followed a prolonged identity crisis that recently played out in the American court system and the controversy surrounding the authenticity of the Chicago State University credentials of Chief Bola Ahmed Tunibu, I must confess I'm distressed as a Nigerian. In addition to the barrage of media frenzy that the matter has triggered at home and abroad, I have had the wholesome burden of responding to embarrassing questions about the Nigerian overall credibility as a nation to privileged audience and individuals both at home and abroad in different parts of the world I've traveled recently. To the outsiders, the entire Chicago University matter, as well as Chief Paula Ahmed Tinibu's many other lingering identity question marks have further worsened Nigerian less than glorious image internationally. Uninformed outsiders now see every Nigerian as a froster, certificate forger, or identity thief. The controversy is unnecessary, just as the implicit global embarrassment could have been avoided. In my opinion, Chief Paula Ahmed Tinibu should have saved the nation and himself this protracted embarrassment and undo sight. Even in this late in the day, however, Chief Ahmed Bola Tinibu still owes the nation and the world a simple debt of obligation only he can discharge. I therefore respectfully and humbly call on him to immediately and personally mount the restroom of his present high office to perform a simple task once and for all time. He should reintroduce himself to the nation he governs and to the world for avoidance of further doubt. He should let the world know his name, his nationality, his place of birth, his parentage, the primary and secondary school he attended with dates as well as the actual universities he attended and certificates obtained. He should indicate clearly where and when he did his national youth service. In addition, if at any time he had had a change of name, he should state so clearly as circumstance that is not in self is no crime. This is a simple task that will take only a few minutes. It requires no affidavit, prolonged court process, spokesperson, agents of surrogates. The task is one that only Chief Bola Tinibu himself, through a direct personal statement, can perform. He must perform this task urgently in order to lay to rest was and for the last time the many lingering doubts and valid speculation about his true identity. A leader cannot source a clear, unambiguous personal statement about his identity to political surrogates, official spokespeople, lawyers, or any other person, no matter how highly placed. A matter of personal identity of a leader is too sensitive and central to the function of the office he currently occupies to be trifled with, outsourced, or disguised under the cloak of official. It is a, about integrity, morality, values, and the rule of law that defines the character of a nation and its people. In his present capacity as a leader of a nation of over 200 million Nigerians, his true identity is a matter of grave national and international interest. The people deserve to know with certainty the true identity of their leader, and this overrides whatever rights 
he may have to personal privacy. In addition, to the, inter in addition the international community deserves to know the true identity of the person with whom they will engage on Nigeria. Having stood for an election of elevated office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Chief Bola Tinibu have implicitly undertaken to cede the rights of private citizens in favor of life of open disclosure of his true identity and other circumstances that might be of public interest. His personal integrity demands no less. The legitimacy of the office he currently occupies demands that much and even more. Respect for the integrity and esteem of the Nigerian nation within the Committee of Nations makes it even more incumbent and compulsory. It is time to do the right thing. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you.